Hello. Hi. So uh, today we're going to show you how to um, uh, set up a GitHub account and get it linked into your Unreal account. And um, hooray for having a new microphone. I don't sound like poopy anymore. Um, anyway, so first up is to create an actual GitHub account. So what you do is you jump on over to, you do a search for GitHub and you go to github.com and then you go to uh, the home and uh, well any event you set up a new account <laughs> i have already set up an account so just log in create an account and then once you have this account created let me make sure i get all these things installed right so uh so first you got to have an account set up um at github and then you got to go get the git program so you just search for git on google and it'll be the uh the first one that comes up right here this git dash smc i'll um i'll put the links in the description for all these um but yeah so you go here you click on this download and you install it and if it asks for your login and password you give it it's your login and password then um, once you have that um, in order to compensate for large file structures um, let me make sure I'm still recording <laughs> um, yeah so in order to compensate for large file structures what you do is you then go to search for git LFS which is for git large file structures and here's the website which is git lfsgithubcom again I'll put the link down below and then you download um, this uh, the git large file storage and you install it then what you have to do it says it down at the bottom there in the description but I'll show it to you um, you have to open up your git bash and then you type this right here you just copy this it's git uh, space lfs space install and once you have that then you just paste it into your um, this is the git bash um, and you whoop, paste that into there and it's git space lfs space install you hit enter um, I already did install it so I'm not gonna muck with it um, but you hit enter and that will install the thing that can manage with large files um, so once you do that you close the bash then you want to go get your um, desktop github um, interface um, so we get back to here and we do a search for, I think it's get desktop search on Google and here it is. Yeah. Desktop.github.com. And then you download and install this GitHub desktop. And if it asks for your login and password, you give it to it. And then there's a lot of steps. <laughs> then, um, once you have that over here at GitHub, if you go to your profile, you'll see here's your profile. You don't have any repositories set up right now, um, but we're about to create one. So what we can do now is I'll drag this over here. Um, let me make sure. Yeah. So now we open up um, Epic Launcher doo, 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 and wait for it to get going. Hi, how's it going? Um, anyways, <laughs> so now you, uh, yeah, just launch Unreal and I'll create a small, tiny project just to show you guys how it works so we can upload it and download it real quick. But big thing to notice is right now there's, um, no repositories on this Git account that I've created. Um, so ignore all of that. Um, <laughs> what we do now is I'm going to create a blank one with no starter project and I'm going to call this my first Git. Oh, my first Git. And uh, so it's blank with no starter. It's got a location on the hard drive. Um, and so just this is my D Unreal projects. Um, that'll come in handy later on. So anyways, uh, it's not necessary though. Uh, now we go create the project and it shouldn't take too long to launch. Do, 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 do. Or how's the, the doom song? Doom, 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 ba doom. Huh. Anyways, here we are. So now um, what we do is this is just a blank, totally blank uh, scene, but still up here under source control, 
you want to click on the drop down and you want to say connect to source control and under provider you want to change it to um, git and because you have it set up and installed all of your git <gasps> oh I'm a dunce one thing you need to do sorry before you do this you need to launch yeah here I'm I'm so sorry um, yeah run without do 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 I'm gonna close that all right so before you you launch the Unreal Engine make sure to launch your github desktop sorry about that little foobar um, one little tiny thing not too bad though but just just before you launch Unreal um, it's okay that we created the project um, and this this is the desktop it has some of my other stuff on it but just know under um, under options if it doesn't already ask you for your account settings here's where you put it under options you say add github account it'll have none and then you enter your login and your password or your email and your password and then log in and that'll set up this desktop for the account your github account um, for it to be lunked, lunked to linked to <laughs> So here it is. All I have is one of the things I'm working on, but this is just uh, for a different account. So ignore that that KBFM even exists. Um, so now when we go to launch, um, and yes, that was the, the GitHub desktop application. So now I'm just gonna launch it and I'm gonna jump right into that, uh, that one that we just created. Um, Pretend right now we're launching it for the first time. <laughs> All right, so my first Git. I'm just gonna open that up. Do do, and right now, if yeah, if I did it in right order, but it, it'll still work either way. Um, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so now we're to the part where we're going source control, connect to source control, and now I'm going to say uh, Git. And it'll automatically fill in your username and email as long as you've logged into all the programs so far properly. Um, and down here, it's got these checked, and you have to set up the initial Git. So you click on this initialize project with Git, and it does that. And then you say accept settings. And so now, see down at the bottom, it said connected to source control successful. So now, under the desktop, um, here, I'll squish this off to the side so you can see both. Um, now, under the Git uh, uh, desktop application, we're going to click on this plus symbol, and we're going to click, click, click on add. And I'm going because we're going to add a local one to our Git, because our Git account still has no repositories in it. Here, we'll just shrink these down so you can see all of them. And here is the Windows one. So we're going to click add we're going to browse to that folder on our local ignore all of this da, 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 da. here's my unreal projects and here's my first git so i just go to the project folder and i hit okay and then i click add repository so that's now it created this one right here and so first we have to publish it to get it onto the git if you're paid when you publish you can make it private if you're not it's going to be public um, but it's still super duper duper useful. So um, really, really handy, especially if you're going to share stuff. So now on the Git um, desktop, we click publish and we give it a description and we'll say my first Git repository. Hooray. Um, Mew. Um, yeah, right here. If I was a paid account, I could click on private repository. I'm not. So um I click on publish my first git. And then you give it a moment, the little windows pin. Oh, right. Uh, it, it should be going. There it goes. Okay. So now um, over here, if we click on repositories, see it's got one, but there's nothing in it really. There's some, the config folders, but that's it. Oh wait, well, that that's probably actually unreal. Anyways, now we click sync on the desktop um on the get desktop and it syncs so now if we're here it's still probably empty yeah so that's exactly as should be and then over here in unreal say under content we're like i want to make a new folder my first 
folder. It's your first everything. It's beautiful. Um, and then you want to right click and say uh, uh, blue, uh, whatever. It's an asset. Uh, my first mat. And also um, a blueprint class. An actor. My first actor. So see how it's got these question marks? That means these are new. It, source control is saying, hey, I should probably do something about these. And so we're going to save all to save all of these actors. And now they have this little red plus symbol. That means that they it knows that they don't line up with the existing Git account. So we click on source control and we can say submit to source control. And it's going to come up with these submit files. And I'll say my first stuff and in a commit so um, you can check keep files checked out in case you want no one else to mess with them in the meantime but anyways we're just gonna put this note under here and now important things to watch um, first it's gonna jump over to your local desktop um, git so watch these little bubbles over here on the top right um, so if I click OK down at the bottom right it says committed, uh, my first commit, and then if we click on the desktop, well now this little bubble appeared, and if I mouse over it, it says my first stuff in a commit. And so it's ready to be sent to the GitHub account. So I hit sync, and then it syncs it up to GitHub. And now down here, when I click um, reload on my first git, there it is, my first folder down here, if you're looking down here. And inside of my first folder is my first actor and my first mat. So now that exists on the Git account. So now you have the ability to share it with anyone else um, and also keep yourself up to date and they're just handy. Um, but say, for example, you didn't, you were somebody else, say you had created this and you wanted someone else to be able to join in on what you're working on. That's where this next part is. Um, so what we want to do is um, I'll close Unreal. Um, I will delete this local one off of my Git desktop. So now I'm just down to my other one. Um, and in my library, I'm going to delete my first Git. And I'm actually going to delete the content data. And so now um, I'm browsing a folder off to the side. So one second, if I go to, yeah. So the, the my first Git is now gone. Um, it doesn't exist on my computer locally anymore. So say I'm here and I want to join a friend on a project. Well, I'd log into my, uh, I do the same thing, uh, log into a Git. Um, I think you may have to use the same email. I'm, yeah, you may want to create a Git email specifically for this Git account so other people can use it. There is a way to have other emails be able to sign into the same Git, but it involves some shenanigans. So I recommend just creating a, a, a Gmail account that's like, you know, Git, then the name of your project, and then add gmail.com and just let everybody use that one for the Gits. And that way everybody can set up on the same one. So... And, we, and if you go that route, then after you install all the Git stuff, you would be at this part where you have a, a, um, a Git desktop application that's signed into that shared account. And then you want to click on um, this plus symbol at the top right. And then you want to say clone. And then it'll come up with the list of the ones of the Gits that are on the GitHub account online. And so here we see my first Git. And so I click on it and then I click on clone my first git and then I find somewhere to put it so I want to put it back into my Unreal's project but see how it doesn't exist here right now um, but that's where I want to put it I hit OK and then it downloads it and so now um, if we look here in the folder it has just downloaded it and put it here under my first git and so now if we wanted to we can launch Unreal do, do, do. Yeah, shouldn't take too long. And then this my first git is already showing up because it's in the um, my universal Unreal Projects folder. 
if per se I had it somewhere else, well, I could just browse to it and open it and that would be fine too. But I'm just gonna double click on it here to open it. Oh, and it actually had already showed up in the list here because it's in my universal um, Unreal Projects folder. So now, here it is. And it's got that my first folder and I'm actually going to um, create a second one uh, or maybe I won't. Maybe this is the time that Unreal decides to lock up. No, there we go. Okay. Um, new folder. I'll say my second folder. And I'll go in here. I'll create a couple materials, maybe a particle system. And But notice there's no plus minus symbol showing up first. Um, so I need to say connect to source control. And I need to say get beta version. And then I need to, and notice that it still has the right accounts and right information. And I need to say accept settings. Probably should have done this first before, before creating those ones. But the connection was established. And see now these have a question mark in on them. And if I say save all, it's automatically going to use source control to go check and say, hey, these need to be on the get. And so uh, notice they are, they are not online right now. Um, but if I say, and also watch this guy on the right. Um, if I say source control, submit to source control, and I'll say my second commit, and I say OK, and then if we click here, notice this new bubble has just slid into place, and then we just hit sync, and it uploads it. Almost there. There we go. And then when we hit refresh on this my first git, well, here's my second folder. And that's how a new person can jump in on the project and you guys can share stuff back and forth. You never have to migrate things. Um, you can work over the internet. Um, on, when every, anybody and everybody logs into this account will see these little notes under the commits right here. So you can see a note as to what they did and what they added. So when you sync or get stuff from them, you'll have, you know, notes saying what it was. So that's how, in, an, in a brief as I could put it, how to set up and get a GitHub working. Um, this is good. There's, there's other programs out there like Preforce that are made for bigger things. Um, when you get complicated, it's a good idea to move to one of the bigger ones. But this is a great start for... Uh, working and if you want to have a private right now this one's totally public anybody can get in there and download it but if you wanted to make it private um, you could uh, pay github I think it's like two or three dollars a month and they let you have a private account and then if you want to use big files well then you have to purchase data for like I think it's like five dollars every 50 gigs um, don't quote me on that but uh, it's pretty affordable. Um, so yeah, it's uh, that's how you GitHub with Unreal. So hope that helped everybody out there. And um, oh yes, I meant to um, uh, give much thanks to some people. Oh my gosh, and I'm being a terrible person right now because um, um, doop doop doop. Let me see if I can't uh, bring it up right now. Uh, bear with me for just one second. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and here's my hack and plan. Um, I'm using this to keep things organized. Uh, I want all of my tasks, and then I want. Uh, oh, okay then. So I'm not the best at it. <laughs> uh, man. Well, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yes. Uh, here we go. Uh, so Teradam uh, is the one who was asking about this Git. And so thank you so much, Teradam, for um, uh, coming up with the idea for that. And uh, thank you, Donnie Vegas, for all the kind words. And um, yeah, so Teradam, you rock on. Because uh, this was a good idea to put this up. So anyways, hope this helps some people. And uh, yeah, well, uh, thanks for subscribing and sticking to here. Um, tomorrow we should have an update video for the, um, the game itself we're working on. And um, yeah, I hope this helps some peoples. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a lovely evening. All right, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> as soon as I pause. Uh, awkward. <laughs>